we've got to take very short-term immediate action. The state of Utah wants to pay farmers not to grow some crops. It's an emergency measure that would help prop up the Great Salt Lake. Fox 13 News political reporter Ben Winslow has this developing story from Utah's Capitol Hill. The Great Salt Lake's ecosystem is approaching collapse, so the state is exploring a number of options to quickly get water into it. The salinity has gotten so high on the lake that we are going to see ecosystem collapse. The head of Utah's Department of Natural Resources says the Great Salt Lake's salinity levels are getting so high it's going to impact the ecosystem. The lake is two feet lower than it's ever been as a result of water diversion, drought, and a changing climate. So the state is exploring a number of options to quickly get more water into the lake. This one would be an immediate shock to the system, an immediate benefit to the system. He asked the legislature to fund upwards of $100 million to pay farmers not to grow crops on a temporary basis and let that water go into the Great Salt Lake. Wheat or corn or those annuals, um, some of it will be alfalfa. Uh, you know, a farmer can say, okay, I'm going to let my alfalfa go dormant. And this is going to be more of that base crop that really is the largest consumer of water. I can't even imagine just getting up and not, not planting a crop, not, not. I mean, especially for us, I mean, you know, we, we have to grow feed for our cows. And um, if, if we take that money to follow that crop, what are we going to do? Ron Gibson is a Weber County farmer and the head of the Utah Farm Bureau. He says it might be a tough sell for many. He says they want to be part of the solution to help the Great Salt Lake, but the idea harms things down the food chain. It seems like agriculture takes a lot of those bullets when our problem is more and more every day because agriculture is less. The state is also exploring other ideas like spending millions to expand cloud seeding to beef up winter storms. But the Utah Department of Natural Resources says one thing is working, conservation. More and more Utahns are cutting outdoor use and it's helping. Our reservoirs are more full today than they would be otherwise. We have more water in our reservoirs, we have more water in the Great Salt Lake than if we had just lived as if life was normal last year. And so it does make a difference and it, and it adds up and, um, you know, and, and it shows how everyone, everyone in the state of Utah can do their part to make a difference. Now, some of these measures will need emergency spending, which the legislature can do when they start meeting in January. On the Hill, Ben Winslow, Fox 13 News, Utah.